You could be Nebbe Yeah You're so pretty I'm falling in love You're straight You could be Nebbe Yeah I get to my own channel here. <sighs> Is this still on private? Hold on one second. Oh, it is on private. Oh. One second. Oh. I put it on private. I guess you can stream privately. Yeah, we're not doing that. Public. Done. Okay. There we go. All right, um, I'm trying to pop up my YouTube chat so I can read it alongside my kick chat. So give me one second to do that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, both chats are open side by side. Let me check and make sure that everything is running properly. I just want to make sure that the music's playing properly for you guys. Okay, cool, cool. All right, everything's smooth. Y'all got the good music going on. All right. I wish there was a separate app that I could play that would play like my notifications. Let me think. There has to be. I know there's Botrix that's like a bot, but um, I was just waiting to show it. Like, can't get on my phone, you know what I mean? Without me having to have the stream open. Because one thing I hate is hearing myself talk while I'm talking. And it's like a five second delay because I'm getting it through the I'm getting it through the internet like just like you guys are and um <laughs> it always just feels weird all right let me get my my gloves on so we got legs today first thing we're gonna start off with are some landmine squats Let me just write this down. So what I aim for is like a 45 second work between each set. And then I do a 45 second break. So. Hey Super, what's up? All right, so we're going to start off with uh, 25 pounds. I think I can handle that. This is like my first serious leg workout since I hurt my knee back in April. So. Let me see if you guys can see me. Let me angle myself so you guys can. Take 
gotta adjust accordingly. <laughs> I have limited space, so you know I gotta make, make it work. All right. Bust it up. Bust it up. Those are really good for if you have suffered an injury. How many reps and sets? We're doing four sets of ten. And you can also just do air squats. Um, you don't need to have a weight on or you have any special equipment. Do body weight. <laughs> Your knees are horrible. No. Shoot, mine are too. That's why I'm wearing these. <laughs> Put the step ladder right here so that I can prep for something else. If your knees hurt, I would recommend like getting a chair or something and just doing like kind of like a box squat and let your butt kind of lightly touch it so that you don't have any tension. I also recommend getting like knee sleeves. You should be doing that. Yeah. And hey, get yourself some good knee sleeves just to keep your knees insulated while you're working out. Now, you guys are listening to T Pain's. Um, playlist if you guys are interested in the playlist it is listed in the description below on my youtube i am listening to a different playlist just because i still need to like download the playlist to my phone i still haven't done that <laughs> and also i don't like hearing my voice talk like like I'll say something and then I'll hear it later in like 10 seconds and it just it's a personal pet peeve I just don't want <laughs> alright let's do the next set then we got 4 sets of 10 and you want to keep this at your chest your legs are like slightly shoulder width apart you know, stuck in your stomach and your butt and go down I like to let my elbows touch the top of my thighs when I come down and you're gonna lean slightly forward when you come up. And you wanna focus? I'm not a fitness expert or anything like that, but you want to just focus on like feeling the workout, feeling it in the right spot, not just going through the motion. Ooh. I realize the span isn't hitting me at all. <laughs> this, it is hot in this garage. I'm actually looking forward to the cold weather. I just like to keep somewhat active in between sets. No way. Is Your cool weather should be tall. It is. It is. I mean, I think even at night, the coldest it might get is like lower 30s. It's Georgia. It's the South. <laughs> Now I know you're in Canada, that's yeah, the, cool. the, the cold up there is, you know, I mean, I'm African, 
and so are you. <laughs> and the first thing I like, like my one number one goal in life was to get out of Ohio. I'm like, I am not about this snow. I'm over this. But the thing is, I also don't like heat. Even though my country is like very close that's to the equator. Okay. <laughs> they say that's my cool. And I was born on the coast. They say that's my All right, cool. next set. I like to make sure everything is recorded in my little fitness log. It's like a sense of accomplishment when I fill each page. I didn't, this is my first stream this week, but I have been working out every day this week. I was just in like a funk. <laughs> this week, like I don't feel like streaming. I was like, you know, I gotta get out here. And I was on Twitter this morning. I had to be on the kick Twitter. And it, they posted something that I said, how to succeed in streaming. Be different. Be consistent. I feel like I am different. I'm working on my consistency. It's kind of hard to do when you're a family person. You're married. You've got three kids. I'm also like the household accountant and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm not like a stay-at-home mom. I am a work-from-home mom, <laughs> and it's hard. Nothing wrong with stay-at-home moms, but I don't want stay-at-home moms to be, to be coming for me. But and I'm also like the comfort for the kids. Like I'm the one they come to for everything, even if Daddy is sitting right there on the couch. It's mom, 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 I need this. Mom, can I do this? Y'all know it. Y'all see them. These guys see them on the screen. It's your homeboy, Teddy. That's you and your family? Mama is Dorian. Right. I think that's every household. There's one parent that the kids always go to because they know they have more of a chance of getting what they want. Let's do our fourth and last set of the Leon Mice Squash. <laughs> I mean, I remember in my household, I can't ask my dad for squats. <laughs> I love my dad immensely, but he was, he was a very serious person. You know, he was one of those people that that's like it he made it hard to love him, you know what I mean? You guys have anybody in your family like that? <laughs> Trying to catch my breath here. Let that heart rate come down. I want you guys to think of my stream as like no, we're done. I did four sets of ten. 
So now we're moving on to straight leg deadlifts. Let me do some housekeeping because my son is a good one for like just putting the weights everywhere. Drives me nuts. I'm gonna move this out of the way. <sighs> Are you doing them along with me? Yay! What's up, baby? See, you gotta up your self esteem. See that? Uh uh, see? Don't let her tell you that. I'll tell you, because there's something back there. You're just backly challenged. Yeah. The four sets of I will start typing up the workout onto the screen um, tomorrow. I just keep forgetting to do so. <laughs> You're doing stretches like a coco. Please keep in mind that you have an injury, you're still healing, which is why I have these knee sleeves on. But I used to wear knee sleeves even before because I was a heavy lifter. I think my squat, the highest squat I got to was 250. My best lift was at 285. Now we're talking like late 30s that I was doing that. So, my goal isn't exactly to get back there. My goal is to not hurt myself again. <laughs> Lifting isn't about the ego. So, one thing I don't want, I don't want people coming in like, oh, add more weight, do more sets, do two more, do whatever. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> to be honest, that guy's kind of annoying. <laughs> I believe in like setting boundaries. Yeah, people do that. And I'm like, like, I'm doing exactly what I know I'm capable of. I don't need to push. I don't need any like extra. Extra. Anything. I'm good. On the days I feel like doing extra, I will. Trust me. Like sometimes I write my workout to where I, uh, I'm like, yeah, this is what I can do today. Then I just get like a burst of energy out of nowhere, and I'm like, yeah. I feel like adding three or more exercises. Bring you back to life, girl. Here I come. I ain't slept in days. Here I come. Girl, I'm on my way. Here I come. Oh, go a little slower. <laughs> used to work at Amazon. That was the manager's their job is just push up, push you, right. They don't even do anything, they're just sitting there. That job was just no health insurance. I used to work for Amazon too, but I was the people delivering. The Amazon Flex, you know? Um, and it was cool. It was um, profitable and everything. But then they decided to, you know, they were making enough money for themselves. They decided to decide we needed to be cut. Our ends needed to be cut so that Amazon can make a few more billion. So they started to like just nip away at how much we made. And you know what? Delivery just started sitting there. <laughs> Of course, thirsty people kept taking stuff, but I'm like, I'm not thirsty like that. I have, I have principles. I understand you have to feed your family. I understand that. Did they have cameras? Yeah, I did flex. And flex used to be, we used to make like $400 a day with flex. Um, 
I gotta like, I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the floor so I know where to stand. Like I'm actually on a production set. Um, but yeah, we're flex. I used to make a good money in there. Sometimes it was like bad weather or whatever. The order would like sit there and they were like keep boosting it. So instead of being like four dollars, it'll be like a hundred ten. They'd be like, Ooh. <laughs> accept, accept, accept. I was running around. The problem is I live in the suburbs, and it wasn't a problem for me. It was a problem for everybody else that didn't live in the suburbs because they didn't want to come up here. But instead of giving me those orders, they were trying to send me like forty six miles away, and I'm like, hey, you guys, logistics. You're a multi-billion dollar company, but you got me going from like. Well, where I live, down like on the other side of Atlanta, which is like 25, 30, 40 miles away from me. And you know, Atlanta traffic is that's like three hours. <laughs> yeah, you signed an NDA? Wow. Yeah, they don't want you guys telling anything. All right, let's get straight like this. Cause if me and this So then I would see like and then the people who live down south were like, how come I keep getting these orders for the suburbs? It doesn't make sense. It's stupid. So the point is, Amazon did not respect our time, they didn't respect, the, respect our vehicles, they didn't respect our gas, and they just didn't make sense. It didn't make any sense. If I live here, send me deliveries within a 5 to 10 mile radius of where I am. You know what I mean? Don't take me out of my zone. Make me drive 30, 40 miles to another zone to go pick up stuff. Come on. It's stupid and if I'm like I have never been in any kind of like you know I was I grew up in a business oriented family but I haven't taken went to business school or anything like that and I know that they don't apparently <laughs> let me know if I'm talking too loud because I'm listening to music and a lot of people don't know this but I am partially I lost my hearing, like a, some of my hearing when I was like 14, 15 years old due to like ear infections. And that's why my speech is still very clear, but I do have hearing aids that I wear. Well, I can't say I wear them. I don't like them. They are very, very itchy. <laughs> the music is a bit louder than me. Okay, let me go turn it down or turn me up. I'll be right back. I feel like the DJ is my bodyguard. The treble and the bass to party hard. Feel like I own the place, yeah. All right, let me know if this is better. Now I'll turn the music down. Um, I turned my mic up. Let me know if the mic is too loud. I'm going to wait a second while you listen to me. Jibber jabber. Okay, it's fine. All right. Don't you just love technology? <laughs> There's a fix for everything. Like we are having like our last few days of like really, really intense heat here in Georgia. Like it's like 90 degrees when we go to sleep. Like what is this nonsense? All right, let's go to do this next set. 
I'm gonna do under overhands real quick. It's the same here. Is that how it is? Intense heat before fall? Yeah, it is. It's a little too hot for me. Like to be to be honest, I was already sweating before I came in here. <laughs> I have those nest therm thermometers upstairs and downstairs. And the thing has a mind of its own. Like it literally put my air conditioner downstairs at 78 degrees. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I want to save energy, but I don't want to save that much. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm stretching out this knee while we wait for the timer. And by timer, I mean the one in my head. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to like eventually find a timer for the stream. I haven't found one. Honestly, a timer probably won't be around for like a few months. I'm trying to build another computer to be my gym computer so that I can have all those bells and whistles and alerts and everything that I can see in real time. Um, I want to get like a, a TV mounted here with, with apps so I can like read the stream from a TV, I mean, you know, do everything. And we're here for another year. Um, so yeah, that's, that's like back burner kind of thing. I need to save up for or not. Yeah, I got all this money to do that. <laughs> I always have like big dreams and goals, you know? Oh yeah, you don't know if you can talk about it. Did the case with the thief get so... Oh, let me give you guys an update on that while I take my break. So, hold on, let me pause this music. So the, the um, police station actually called us yesterday, spoke to my husband, and basically what they said was, um, on that day when we made the report, they said they had a person of interest because so they could see the car in the high school parking lot. And they could see the car go into the target and everything. They had the person on camera running around spending everybody's money. So they called us yesterday and they said that the car was a rental car. And the rental car had a license plate from Ohio. So it showed that the person drove the car from Ohio to Atlanta and then went on like a basically a robbing spree in this rental car and then drove his butt back to Ohio. So they're still doing investigations, but they do know who it is. They haven't told us, you know, but they know exactly who it is. They said that that's literally either he came here specifically to do that, but I'm like, it's so stupid. It's like, how do you rent a car? <laughs> Don't you have to rent a car with like your, your own driver's license and your own credit card? How's that work? Or somebody else can rent a car for you? Because that would be so shady if you actually had somebody rent something for you and then you drove it out of your state to go rob people. <laughs> like, I, I, <laughs> so, but we did get our money bank from the bank. They took their sweet time, but <clears throat> they gave it back to us. Um, 
I had to get I had to wait to get a new card and all that stuff and like I still don't know the extent of all the cards they took out of the car um, but I went ahead and just canceled all all the cards I mean we have a habit of like keeping stuff in the car and everything it's secure but you know hubby made the mistake of leaving the back door unlocked the cane plan didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. And he thought he was ironclad, I guess. It's like he thought the plan made sense. It made sense to him. But I'm happy that they have, they know who it is, whatever. I just don't know the process of going after somebody that doesn't live in state. It's a story of, is it a story in the paper? Actually, I don't know. I haven't even looked. I should look. I think that it would only make the papers if it was like grandiose amounts of money that was stolen. I don't know. <laughs> they might make the paper when they finally catch them. <clears throat> I like to wait until my heart rate goes down like 10, 15 beats and then I do my next set. That's kind of like my internal timer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. What set are we on? I think we're on set number four. I'll show you the book that I'm using for my workouts if you guys are interested. Okay, that was set number four. It's a straight lead look. So I use. <laughs> Aaron Stern's Train Like a Bodybuilder. I love Erin Stern. She has an amazing physique. And I've been following her workouts since like 2012. But she used to be on bodybuilding.com and she'll put a lot of like free workouts on there. And she's an awesome lady. I also have a cookbook. <sighs> All right, we got barbell hack squats next. But I think I'm ready to just do some actual squats versus the hack squat. So, hack squat I feel like would actually hurt me more than just doing a regular squat. So I'm not gonna do hack squats. Hack squats are actually like some of my favorite squats though. Like, I don't know, I feel like a ballerina when I'm doing them. That was one of my, when I was younger, I used to want to be a ballerina. And, you know, it never occurred to me that I could possibly have been one. Because I always thought ballerinas were very tiny, very frail, very short. And, well, being 5'11 and a half, I think my, my lowest weight when I was, like, this height was 144. And I was bone thin too. Like I would never want to be that, that weight again, ever. But I never pursued it. <laughs> I'm five eleven and a half. Yes, the university decided to rob me of my half inch to say I was 16. Very, very rude. <laughs> Curse you! <laughs> uh. You would dominate WNBA. 
But the thing is, I hate basketball. <laughs> I've never been into basketball. I don't want to play it. I don't want to watch it. They tried to recruit me in my college. <laughs> they cried. I just, you know what? No hate to basketball players, men or women. I just don't. I just don't like the sport like that. You know what I mean? I like the sport with a little bit more like. I like sports with a little bit more finesse, a little bit more like. I don't want to say sensuality, but you get what I'm saying. So I went into fit. I went to like golf. I went into fencing. I went into tennis. You never knew this. Queen, this is a revelation. Yeah, they were they recruited me. They recruited me hardcore. And I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. Uh, uh. And they try to get they try to get me for the volleyball team. And <laughs> volleyball is also another sport that I absolutely love, but their shorts are like Okay, let me just take this piece of fabric and then explain to you how what our volleyball shorts look like. Okay, let me fold it. Let's see. All right, so yeah, this is the short. Okay. Like right there. And then it's like, like this. <laughs> and then it's like, it's like, like this. And I'm like, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> there was no way this big booty beauty was going to be out there on the court with those volley volleyball shorts on. No. I didn't want to be the focus of the team, and I didn't want, like, you know, haters are going to hate. They're going to have something negative to say because my booty cheeks are just out in the wind, and I wouldn't have felt comfortable. I wouldn't have been able to be out there like, yeah, boom. You know, I wouldn't be able to do all that stuff because my booty cheeks would have been out. <laughs> so I would have been like, you know, trying to focus on making those booty cheeks look as good as possible while also trying to make the plays. <laughs> Knowing that there's somebody in the crowd just hating, hating on the booty. You remember when they came for Sarita? Exactly. Like, we cannot help how we're built. We can't help it. I can't help how I'm built. Don't hate me because of the way I'm built. You know what I'm saying? My mama gave you this. <laughs> Blame my mama. The funny thing is, my mom is 5'7". My dad was 5'9". But on my, my, my dad's side of the family, they're like relatively average height and average build. My mom's side of the family has like 7 foot 1ers, 7 foot 5. <laughs> she was the tiniest of them all. She is the tiniest of them all, I should say. Like her oldest brother that raised her. I think, I want to say he was like 7'3". So yeah, so I got like the best of both worlds. I got my mom's, I can't say hourglass figure. She has like the perfect figure. <sighs> a little tiny little waist. Um, but, you know. Whew. I think next week I am going to start doing, I think what they call, they call them like ladders where do my warm up for lightweight and I'm gonna start adding five pounds for every set to build my strength. <clears throat> yeah they came for Serena and Serena's I think Serena's like five nine. But I mean she can't help how she's built either. And they said she looked like a man. They did all that stuff. So look like, everyone in the front everyone. Do we need your approval on how we look or would you classify as beautiful? No. Do I give a crap if people think I'm ugly or beautiful or whatever? No.
Like, is it going to make any bearing on my life? Not really. <laughs> I was very self-conscious as a child because I was not only bullied for being African I was bullied for being very smart I was usually, not to brag, but I was usually like the top of the class or smarter it's not smarter than everybody else, but everybody was smart in their own way, I think I just applied it in different ways so I was very bored um, in class and I would finish my work before everybody else and I would get penalized for that because the teachers did not like that. Um, we're talking the 80s, you know. They didn't like that. Um, and I also got very bored very easily in class. So, yeah, maybe I would start jibber jabbering with the next person behind me. So I was always in the principal's office. So just imagine a kid with like almost perfect scores, always in the principal's office. It didn't make any sense. And you know, it is a fact that girls are less diagnosed with ADHD than boys are and I do believe that I have it. I actually do want to go through and go through and get the, the evaluation for it. But I think that's what it was. But when my parents were taken to a doctor, like, oh, she's just hyper. She's just, you know, you know how girls are. They're just uh, busy bodies and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I still do that. I'm like a fidgeter. I, you, you'll see me on stream just like, you know, jamming to my own music sometimes because I hear that like internal music. It's like, what the Oh, this is my jam. <laughs> Nobody else can hear anything. You're like, why is she dancing? <sighs> so like, one thing I found to help me, like I find, I have this wallet and I have this little tassel and I sit here and I just do this. And I don't know, this ground thing. Like I would like to sit and like, just kind of play with this little tassel. It's kind of like a little, remember those fidget spinners that came out a few years ago and they were super popular? Both of my sons are ADHD. My daughter is a stick after her dad. <sighs> but I was picked on as a kid by everyone, not just, you know, the usual people that pick on you. And I was bad with cry, go home and cry myself to sleep. I'm like, <laughs> why can't I just fit in with everybody? <laughs> why did you bring me here? <laughs> And I think it was like maybe ninth grade where I just stopped giving F's about what people thought. My knee is going to be like, yeah. why are you doing this to me? What did I do to you? <sighs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> do you ice it up? I do. I do ice it. With a bag of onions. <laughs> But I bought for that exact purpose. <laughs> like, what vegetable in this frozen section will I not eat? Hmm. <laughs> we have two more sets. When I was going to physical therapy, they had these gel packs, and I loved them. And I was meant to get myself some. So when I went in on, in April for hurting my knee, the doctor was like, you can't lift weights anymore. Don't put any weights. You can't do any load bearing exercises. So I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, you can ride your bike and go for walks. So I did that for like a few weeks. He also prescribed physical therapy, which I was like, 
I don't I don't want to do that but then I went ahead and did it it was twice a week and guess what the physical therapist had me doing <laughs> freaking weights loading the knee with weights doing all sorts of stuff with weights and I'm like this is not not making sense because my doctor told me not to put any weights on this knee you know so she would have me like squatting and getting on like you know doing step ups and I had to like get on the leg extension machine and leg curl machine and everything which aren't low like those aren't way bearing you're sitting down but like she had me actually doing like physical yeah kettlebells I had to do like a, um, a balancing thing with the kettlebell which I'm gonna start doing again because I actually do think they helped she called her mom Statue of Liberty we step up on the thing with one leg and you put the opposite arm up and then you hold it like that for 10 seconds and then you have to switch legs and do the same thing so you don't want to just because you're injured on one side doesn't mean that you overcompensate on the other side so you want to make sure that they're even equal stuff <sighs> this jacket is getting a little baggy you like it I'm going to start incorporating those into this workout and um, doing my stretches. I don't have, I have a goal for my birthday. By the time I turn 46, I want to be somewhere. You know, I want to be somewhere with a physique. That's April 2024. <sighs> Thyroid surgery is on the 12th of October. And... I have two scenarios in my head of how that's going to be. So let me just finish the set and I'll share them. I have two, two scenarios in my head. It's going to be either the normal side of my thyroid is going to actually do the work that both halves should have been doing. And then my body will actually like start regulating and the weight will just start dropping off on its own. Or it could go horribly wrong and I could start gaining weight. <laughs> because the stupid hot nodule on my thyroid actually the one keeping me, you know, from being a gigantic tub of lard. So, yeah. Hmm. We shall see. The thing is, I don't, I eat, I eat within my calories. I make sure I get my protein. Like, my goal for protein is like 175, 176. Calorie wise, 1800 to 1900 calories. And I try to stay active. So I'm hoping that the first scenario, hey, Raw Style, thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate you. I'm hoping that, that my first scenario is what happens. Um, the other scenario is that the other half of my thyroid actually doesn't kick in right, and then I have to take medicine for that. Which I'm already on medication now for the hyperthyroidism. Um, but once they remove the hyperthyroid part, it may I may go into hypo. Hmm. We'll be lurking screen. All right. Good day, Raw Style. How you doing? What's up with you? What you got going on? I got one more set of squats. And then we're going to do... Some standing calf raises. It says to do some glute bridges. You're all right. Thanks. Just about to head to bed soon. Pretty late here. Oh, what uh, what part of the world are you in? What muscles are you working today? We're working legs. 
just taking a little breather to let my heart rate come down before I do the next step. You're from Australia? Nice. I just had a client come back from Australia. Um, I kept her two dogs over the summer. <laughs> I board, I board animals. I had her two miniature schnauzers, schnauzers while she went and visited her sister in Australia. Nice, don't skip like that, right? You could not skip like that. That's one of my gold countries. I want to visit Australia one day. Oh, lucky. You get to handle animals for work? Yes, it's so fun. It's so rewarding. Um, I lost my own dog to cancer actually four years ago this month. And I was just not ready for another dog. So I just live vicariously through everybody else. Don't come here around Christmas. It's too hot. <laughs> Good to know. I want to come when the weather is perfect. Oh, all right, let's do this last set so that we can move on to the next exercise. You know what? I will do the glute bridges. I'm just going to do them right here. But yeah, Rostal, thank you so much for stopping by. I don't know if you'll still be here when I finish this set, but thank you. I appreciate that, Paula. <laughs> I do game as well, so I just don't do workout streams. I'm a variety streamer. I kind of lost count. I think that was six or seven. Oh, damn this reason. What about you? We're from March onwards. Okay, good. Well, I was born in Nigeria, so I got my Nigerian flag. Both of my parents are Nigerian. Um, I immigrated to the United States when I was four years old. So now I live in Georgia, outside of Atlanta. Gaming and workout sound like an awesome routine. It is. You gotta start first, do the workout and then game. <laughs> Make sure you take care of yourself first. Physically, mentally, emotionally. You know. I tried to do workouts at night. That just was not happening because by the time I get through my entire day, that's the last thing I'm my. The so way you're like, what time is it for you? It's like 10 in the evening, right? I think you guys are 12 hours ahead. 12 and a half in some places, no? Whew. Do you have a goal of setting? Do you have a goal? Um, My goal is to lose body fat. I have, I have like not a goal weight, but I have a goal physique. You know, so I don't have a goal weight. I just want to get into some of the old stuff I used to wear and just feel confident and be healthier physically and everything. Like my my uh, labs and everything are fine except for my thyroid. Um, and I, I'm low iron, so I have to take iron uh, pills, iron supplements. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to get get healthier. Right now, it's just after midnight, so technically Friday morning, you're way in the future. Oh, okay, so you're 14 hours. Okay. So I know in certain parts of Australia, it's a different time, right? Just like over here, we have like some places that observe daylight savings time and some places that don't. So right now in like California, it's seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> How about you? Are you into fitness?
Oh, good goal to keep. Not too hard to keep up with. Yeah, like I like to set realistic goals. I don't want to be like, yeah, I want to look like, I want to look like uh, Naomi Campbell in six months. <laughs> Alright, I am gonna do glue bridges. Let's see if I can crank them out with this. Let me get my mat out. Hmm. <laughs> so I guess we're doing glutes and legs, mostly legs. I don't really work glutes. I work loose and directly. You're into fitness? How about one of your jobs is doing reception desk at a local gym? Oh, okay, so you got like that free gym membership? <laughs> Those are the best. When I was in college, I think my first year of college, I, I worked at a gym, but I was in the daycare. And I think that job lasted like three months because I was just getting kind of tired of the people who bring their like newborn babies in. And I'm just like, this baby should not be out here. Or bring the newborn, the babies in with like full diapers. But that's just rude. But I only got the job so I could work out for free. <laughs> So are you new to kick? Did you stream on Twitch? I still stream on Twitch. Um, I stream on YouTube as well. And my YouTube, my name everywhere is the Queen of Random. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. But Twitch, you know, Twitch is where I started. But I don't know if Twitch is where I'm gonna like be for a long time. So I'm like, I need to diversify myself and not be married to one platform. Oh, I don't have a social. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, is it Paige? Paige? I hope I said that right. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, my socials are inside my bio. So if you scroll down, you should be able to see my bio. Okay, let me get down on the floor. We're going to change the camera angle. Sorry for anyone who has motion sickness. I'm going to change the camera angle to this. So I can get these loops in. <laughs> you respect the fitness journey? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was... I took took some time off, but I'm back. Login required. Okay, I gotta log in to my kick account. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm just gonna search for my name. So I can read this, the chat here. Easy, got you. Yeah, it's down in the socials. I will create... I think I can do that on Botcher, so I'll create a... Uh, did you do the artwork pieces? No, that's from one of our friends. Um, his name is Scott Straka. He is an artist. And he does those. And funny story about those, we used to do like craft shows. And we would trade with the other artists. Because I um, actually... I have my own skincare line that I formulated that I kind of put on the back burner during COVID. But we would trade, like he would, we would trade some of the skincare for his artwork. <laughs> Every time we saw him over like the past 10 years. So we would always meet up at the Walker Stalker Con here, back when The Walking Dead was super popular. Um, or the Beer Fest. It's a lot of Beer Fest. Okay. Oh, let's see if I can get this. I think I gotta scoot up just a little bit. I'm gonna move this out of the way. He got some talent. Yeah, he's very, very cool. He's a very talented guy. I do want to add more though, because I look at the, st I look at my wall and I'm just like, my wall is covered in like serial killers or something. <laughs> oh, second, this is popping off. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> We have four sets of those. I'm going to stay right here on the ground because <laughs> I am not coming back up. <laughs> it's a long way up for me. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the ground for a second. <laughs> Is Georgia the only place you live in the state? No. But I'm silly thing is that my parents decided to to move to Texas first. Yeah. 45 second break. My parents decided to move to Texas first, so they got the heck out of there fast. And then um they moved to Ohio of all places. <laughs> so that's where I was raised. And I left Ohio and when I was like 26 and moved to Florida. I lived in Florida for a few years. Um, and then we moved to Georgia because we wanted a better school system for the kids. So moved to Georgia. We've been here now. This is our 10th year in Georgia. I still don't know if this is my forever home. I kind of want to move overseas somewhere. But I don't know. Like, I want to build a home in my country. And I also just want to live also somewhere else, too. You know, somewhere where I don't know. We're thinking maybe Portugal. Ah, my right quad, no, I'm sorry, my left quadricep is tightening up on me, so let me just rest it for a second. Okay. All right. All right. Breaky break. See, if you eventually travel to the States when it stops being so crazy, you want to visit Minnesota and Colorado and beautiful? Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. I've never been to Colorado or Minnesota, but I've heard good things about the atmosphere and the scenery. Yeah, I want to live somewhere beautiful. I want to live somewhere where, like, the weather is, like, maybe mid-70s all year long and very affordable to live, like, my goal in life is to like go live somewhere very, very, very below my means <laughs> so that I can feel like I'm living that grand life, you know, <laughs> with health care. Or if I'm going to stay here, I'm going to definitely grind and get a good retirement plan going. You know, I got two college age kids and they're, my son is about to start college in the spring. My daughter is still deciding where she wants to go and what she wants to do. 70, like 30. Yes, exactly. We use the, you know, we're backwards here, so we don't do what the rest of the world does. <laughs> nice. What's your son going to study? He actually wants to go into software engineering with a focus on video game design and he actually wanted to be an astrologist before, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. But then he got to like doing a little bit more research, and he wants to be, um, he wants to design video games. My daughter wants to be a pilot, so she wants to eventually have her own airport and plane and all that good stuff. And I have an eight year old who just wants to be Venom. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I'm hitting that. Sorry if I'm like breathing in your ears. I can't help it. <laughs> so you got the gaming house for you. Well, I didn't game for like 10 years. It was the pandemic that started me gaming again. And he wanted to get into streaming. So we researched it. And I was like, oh, this is cool during the pandemic, you know, when they were at home. 
I was like, this is cool. Sure, let's try it. Let's do it. So the streaming started off with him wanting to stream. So I built a gaming computer. But he wasn't consistent with it. So it was more like a hobby. But I'm like, no, you're not going to sit on my computer every single day and not do anything else besides after school work. And then not stream it either. You know what I'm saying? Because we have other stuff that he can play. Uh, we have other computers he can use. So I'm like get your butt off my computer. And I started looking into it myself. So I started streaming and I found out that I loved it. Um, but he still occasionally streams. Uh, he's working on building his own computer now. So getting the parts together and everything. He likes Minecraft and Valorant. And my daughter streams too. She likes, she likes um, Minecraft and Valorant. <laughs> they used to do Fortnite. It is a lot cheaper to build now, but we, I built this computer during the pandemic. So everything was more expensive, unfortunately. And it was like seven months after I built my computer, everything that I used to build it was like at least a few hundred dollars cheaper. But you know what? My philosophy was better now than later, and I just did it because I had a passion for it. And I've been doing it ever since. Um. <sighs> I think the fact that I'm hitting these is because I'm actually warmed up now. So I'm doing it a little heavier. The next time I do these, I'm going to do them like out there so I don't have any inhibitions. <sighs> but I don't want to go too heavy. I think my knee is definitely healing because I'm able to do these now. Yeah, they like FPS shooters. Like, I used to play a lot of Valorant, so I'm the one who actually got them into Valorant. My son would be like, ew, Valorant. Let me sit up. I need to, I need to sit up and get the thing off. Of. My son would be like, ew, Valorant. <laughs> I'm like, Valorant is an amazing game. You should try it. <sighs> now they love it. Is the stream still running for you guys? I just want to make sure because on my screen right here, it's frozen. Okay, never mind. It's just my stupid phone. Counter-Strike is so fun. <laughs> yes, I love Counter-Strike too. Um, I'm a, I play everything. I do Counter-Strike. I do Valorant. I do Overwatch. I do Escape from Tarkov, Fortnite, Call of Duty. I used to do Destiny. Um, then I got into MMOs. So now I do, well, my, my Final Fantasy subscription has ran out because I'm on a budget this month. But <laughs> All right, Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2. You invested in skins? Yeah, my skin that I was after, it was the Prime Vandal. And one day it popped up in my shop, I had to get it. And that's the only skin I've ever bought. <sighs> Those skins are expensive. <laughs> You can't leave it now. That's like me and my Fortnite account. Like, I have so much invested in Fortnite and so many different skins and dances and all this stuff. What's your streaming schedule? My goal, streaming schedule, <laughs> is to at least start the workout stream by 9. And then I'm going to take a shower, have a protein shake or something, and then I'm going to get back on and do some something at 12. But it doesn't always work that way. Um... But I, I'm this next two weeks, I'm focusing on actually just being consistent and creating a schedule. But you should usually find me here around this time of day. Um, I do get on in the evenings, too. Um, I get on in the evenings as well, and sometimes after 8, because I try to make time for my husband and... It's really easy when you're a streamer to like kind of push everybody else uh, to the side and when you're having fun, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, you're later streaming, you're probably just getting up for work. Yeah, like right now you're on your way to bed. No, he doesn't. He's like really into Diablo 4, but he does not, he's not like, it's the, he's the opposite of me on 
the computer. On the computer, he doesn't really want to talk to anybody and engage with chat. In real life, he will talk your ear off. He's the first person at the party to go around and introduce himself and, you know, uh, shake hands and get along with everybody. And meanwhile, I'm like the wallflower. I'm like, don't look at me. Don't talk to me. I don't like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then on online, I feel like my personality shines out more and I'm more engaging with people. And in real life, I'm kind of like, uh, introverted. I'm an extroverted introvert. <laughs> yeah, game you're my happy. Yes, exactly. It's my happy place. It is my happy place. And like my philosophy with gaming is just have fun with it. I don't get frustrated or anything else. Like you know what? What's it's not gonna like make or break me if I lose or a guy die or whatever. The only thing that pops, that gets on my nerves is like if people are being bullies to me or others. Yeah, then you're gonna get you're you're gonna get a piece of my mind. But other than that, we're good. <laughs> All right, let me do this last set. You got to bounce, chill vibes, hopefully catch streaming guests. Definitely, definitely. Ring the bell. Um, follow me on YouTube, too, if you get a chance. And um, my Discord as well. My Discord is where all the notifications go when I'm live and everything. So, But thank you so much. You've been such a great, uh, great company. I appreciate it. Let me crank out this last set. I think what it is, is I have to scoop down a little. Okay. Okay. Now my left half is tightening up. Notice it's all the left side. And I know why, because my knee is complaining. But I'm not going to let that knee stop me. That knee will respect my authority. Whew. Okay, let's see. But if I do feel like any kind of real pain, I will stop. I'm not like one of those, like, I'm going to push through the pain, even if I get hurt again. All right. We can do this. Okay, that's that. Jeez. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Help me grow. <laughs> I know you got to get some rest. Make sure you get your sleep in, get your rest. Stay hydrated. <laughs> All right, let's get up off this floor. I'll be right back. I'm going to go put some more ice in my water. I love, I love ice. My love of ice started when I was pregnant with my first child, my daughter. Then I found out it's a sign of being, uh, it's a sign of being um, anemic. <laughs> so that explained it because that was a fact. Oh. Nice love chewing ice until I found out that if you chew a lot of ice, it can actually fracture your teeth and you get little micro fissures in your teeth. That was the end of that. I'm back. Okay. 
So let me write everything I just did down so that I don't lose track. So we did the glue bridges. Sixty-five. I'm really happy that I pushed myself to actually do those. Now we got standing calf raises. So I gotta get the weight back up here. <sighs> Move this out of the way. Roll it on back up. Mm -hmm. I can do heavier standing calf raises, but like I said, I am not trying to injure this knee again. So I'm doing what I can do, where I still feel the burn, but I'm not hurting myself in the process. I'm going to take a breather. I got to let the, the heart rate come down to like 120-ish, 125. Let's go ahead and angle the camera back up. I just realized I'm not in the frame whatsoever. The camera over a little bit, and then I'm also going to plug this up because... All right, let's go ahead and get these candy candy cavities going. <sighs> Ooh, I feel a little tightness in that left calf again. So I'm going to stretch it. Working on getting my gallon of water a day. That's what I need. This is my first bottle of 64 ounces. My aim is to get two of these in a day. Now, not to say that everybody needs a gallon of water. You need to drink to your own thirst. Um, there is a such thing as being too hydrated where you start diluting your... <laughs> Diluting yourself, basically, you know, and you want to replenish whatever you're drinking, whatever you're losing through sweat. And that's why I do a lot of water. But if you're not like very, very physically active, you don't need that much water. That's why I say drink the thirst, drink when you're thirsty. Mm. 
But make sure you get water. You know, uh, juice doesn't count. Okay, juice. No. <laughs> Coffee doesn't count. Mm. We have two more sets of these. It's actually very lightweight. I can honestly say that I don't feel it as much as I want to feel it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go heavier because I do feel a little tightness in my in my calves when I do do it. So I'm going to work on that, knowing that the calves are a little activated. And I'm going to work on, like, just make, making my body a little bit more pliable. You know, I've grown a little stiff over the years. Yeah, I want to start working on stretching more. Uh, that's what I've been doing with my streams. Like, I will put a, I have a stretch command on my Twitch. I'm going to make, I'm going to go and investigate all the Botrix commands. And put some commands there so you guys can remind me of stretch. You know, um, once we hopefully get partnered, I can put some goals up on, you know, some challenges that you guys might want to challenge me to do. But that's going to come later. Ugh. Right. Do this third set. Now that I've actually um, warmed up, my calves are no longer getting tight. <sighs> I made this egg scrambled the other day, and it was so good. And what I did was I took a whole green bell pepper, chopped it up, took some smoked turkey sausage, chopped that up, and I sautéed them in some extra virgin olive oil, and then I... um. Added some eggs and some Havarti cheese and some spinach. And it was 55 grams of protein, I think 28 carbs. And it had like 55 grams of fat. But my gram intake for fat is 80 something, 80 something gram. And I find a lot of stuff that I eat later doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So I balance it out that way. <laughs> Welcome back, super. So, yeah, I'm going to probably make one of those again. Um, uh, how is this in my tooth? Yeah. I'm doing intermittent fasting, so I'm not eating till 12. My, my eating window is 12 to 8 every day. Hello. <laughs> so we're doing our standing calf raises right now. And then we are going to do, oh, we got leg curls and leg extensions. Ooh, fancy up in here. So leg curl and leg extensions are going to be modified. I have this band, this little thing right here that I put all on, on my ankle. And it goes on this 
uh, cable right here. And so instead of doing like a leg curl, leg extension machine, I just do this. And then for my leg extension, I just do this. Um, wait, no, leg curl, yeah, do that. My leg extension, I do this. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't feel quite right. Um, if I really want to get, you know, snazzy with it, I might do the outer, outer leg and do some abductions or abductions with my, I always get those confused. Abductions are like outer leg and abductions are inner thigh. I don't know, but y'all know what I mean. <sighs> seated. We're not doing a seated leg curl. We're just doing leg curls plus leg extension so this program is designed to kind of do at a gym because you, you know you have the benefit of having all those machines but there are also alternative ways of doing pretty much anything you can do at the gym at home i canceled my gym membership like after covid i'm like i'm not going in there people were coming in there without masks not wiping out anything i'm like i'm done I've already saved like sixteen hundred dollars. Not going to jail. I do miss like you know the camaraderie of having other people around and you know the relationships I did make at the gym, but that's okay. <laughs> I got you guys. So this cable is actually very tight. I don't put a lot of weight on it for that reason because it will it will make me not be able to finish my reps. So I'm going to start with curls first. I'm going to turn my music back on. I turned my music off like an hour ago and never turned it back on on my headphones. All right, we're going to put this on. Let's say I'll start with my weaker leg first. Mm. Okay, I got to remember how I do this. Wait a second. I have to turn my body. Yeah, I'm going to take off one of the weights. I don't need it. This is a super set, so I'm going to turn right around. And do the extensions. And rather than switching legs in between sets, I'm just going to stay on one leg for the whole thing, but take my breaks. <sighs> Sweat is dripping into my eyes. <laughs> We got four sets of Trinity.
My goal with legs is to like hit every possible muscle. All right, let's go ahead and do the next set. Do the curls first. So my goal is to make sure that my knees stay parallel to each other. And take your time with these, you know, it's not a race. You can easily do these at home with bands. They sell bands on Amazon for like $20 for a set of like eight bands, different weights, different resistances. Let me know if you guys want me to show you guys how to do them with bands or like do any of the workouts that I'm doing with bands and I can incorporate that. I want everybody to join me, you know? I want you to use your own space in the way you can. You don't need a gym membership. I'm gonna check your messages in a minute, Supa. I cannot read from this distance. <laughs> <sighs> I'm kind of tethered to the machine right now. But I'm about to, you know what? Hold on. I know what I gotta do. I gotta grab my phone so I can read your chats while I'm over here. It gives me a chance to get some hydration. One thing I would say invest in though is a good padded ankle wrap because it will eat into your ankles. Yeah, you're down. You don't have weights. Yeah, get some workout bands. I'll I'll post a link to um the workout bands or some that you might want to use on on um I'll post I'll post them on shoot the Discord. <laughs> I don't know why my brain was like struggling to get that word out. <laughs> yeah, you don't need weights. Honestly, you don't. You can get a good workout with resistant bands. <sighs> 10 at 10. You get some water. No, that's the man. Okay. Let's do our third set. We got four sets of ten of everything. Just remember that. When we get when I start like shedding my body fat, I still didn't grab the phone. <laughs> I came all the way across my from the phone. And then I walk right back without it. When we get to the point where we um were not we, I would say we like my body belongs to everyone. But when I get when I get to the point where I feel like I've lost a significant amount of body fat, I will be switching to a maintenance mode where the weight and the reps will change. All right. It's amazing how your muscle feels once it's warmed up. It's like now I'm like, oh, this is lightweight. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, ah, isso, só isso. Oh, take a little breather. I realize again that the fan isn't facing me. <laughs> when I switch legs, I'll go and rotate it back around. When their heart rate come down, it's still pretty high. Take some deep breaths. Get it together. Okay, fourth set, fourth and last set on this leg. So the actually the bands actually usually come with something like this for your ankle. Um, it comes with handles too. Um, the handles kind of like this, and um, it usually comes with like some kind of tether that you can hook over your door. So that you can do all sorts of different things. Now there's something soothing about the sound of this pulley system. Ooh, all right, feeling the burn. It's burning. <sighs> uh, go on ahead and switch legs. <laughs> Let me mop my face. Hey, Psycho. Good morning. I'm co-streaming, by the way, on YouTube and Twitch. I mean, not Twitch. I'm sorry. YouTube and Kick. So, I'm replying to random people. That's why. I will put, um, I'm going to add both chats onto the stream for tomorrow. I, you know, as I go, I always think about different things I can do. So you guys can feel like you're in on the conversation wherever I am. Uh. Okay, so we did all of them.
each side 10 and the weights are scared of me <laughs> I'm gonna eat those weights <laughs> all right let's switch switch to the opposite leg and get it Guild Wars 2 did come out with a new expansion, which I haven't bought yet because I haven't finished the first four. <laughs> but it's motivating me to finish. All right, let's do this next side. Turn around and do the front. Ooh. I was taking a little pause on my right side because I have to put a lot of weight on the left side and the left side is the inner side. So. Ooh, okay. Let's take a breather and check our chat while we're here. It's a waste. You're working. You finish at three. Oh, okay. Don't work too hard. All right, let's do the next set. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. 
Wait for the heart rate to come down. Oh, that's my jam. It's like my power song. It's Unstoppable by Sia. Love it. <laughs> Let's do the next song. I mean, that's on this step. <laughs> Okay, I was feeling it, and I just fell instead of chest. Take a breather. I need to bring remember to bring my water over here. You see how much I'm sweating? Like, it's not just the heat of the garage. <laughs> this is workout. It's burning. It's like, whew, feels good. <laughs> Next set, and last set. Ugh. <sighs> 
Okay. Yeah, done with those. Whoop. Refer to me as a goddess. I'm tired of being mad as fuck. You can hide us if we're being hot as angel in disguise. I hate it. I disguise it. What's your name? So then I'm going to take my flowers. Okay, last one. We got seated cat phrases. Okay. Let me move the bench back over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I just lost the an ear pod. There we go. Hmm. Once again, we got four sets of 10. I'm gonna grab a 25 pound blade, plate and then grab some water as well. <sighs> Where did I put that phone? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to do four sets of 12 on this one. Mm -hmm. You know, my ultimate goal is, is to get a standing desk and a, Portable treadmill, so I can do like cardio while I while I stream my games, like just the walk, you know, like a slow and steady walk while I while I work out. Cause I just want to be more active in everything. In every aspect.
I think I'm putting my phone back over there. <laughs> All right. You know what I remember is when I do these, I usually have my feet elevated, like on a on another plate. We'll do that next time. <laughs> we got two more sets, but enjoying these breaks. I think for my cardio today, I'm going to do battle ropes. I haven't done those since I got hurt doing them. I think my brain is still mentally traumatized <laughs> from that pop I heard doing them behind my knee. But I think I figured out what I did wrong that day. I think I wasn't evenly distributing my weight on both legs. We'll see how this goes. I will try to jump rope too. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I wanna see what happens if I jump rope. Okay, this is our last set. Now, everything in this gym besides this bar, this machine, and the squat rack are repurposed. Like, I bought them from people on next door um, in Craigslist. My bike I bought from a gym that went out of business during COVID. Um, I bought the weights from a guy that was moving to another state. They sold all his weights for, like, a really good deal. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to do jump ropes and I'm gonna try to do the batter rope. I'm gonna go open my garage up there because I don't have enough room for all that in here. <sighs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was pretty uh I was like when I when I heard that pop I thought nothing got because it didn't hurt right then. But then when I went to go step forward, I was like, whoa, I can't move my leg. <laughs> I was like, Theo, I can't feel my legs. That's what my child says every time you send him to do something. Mom, I can't, I can't feel my legs. My boy, shut up. <laughs> All right, let's open up the garage.
You want to rotate the camera? Yeah, here we go. You didn't see that. You grab a jump rope. Ah! Just capitated myself. What the heck? Okay, let's start with jump rope first. Oops. But AirPods keep falling out of my ears. I'm aiming for 20 jump ropes. And 15 batter ropes. And I think we'll do like five sets. Right. Ooh, I realized that the, the bright, it's too darn bright. Let me see what I can do. I don't think I can do anything, honestly. I gotta put on the music for this, you know? There we go. I gotta get pumped up. <laughs> okay, hold on. My bench is actually in the way. Okay. Oh. Feel a little tightness on the right side of my neck there. I'm going to rest for like a minute and a half. Stretch my neck. Try to block out the sun. That's not working. <laughs> I 
the Hmm. It smells weird out here. Hmm. I know what I'm after. Do I have to zoom in? Maybe. See, now I'm sneezing. That's what outside does to you. Ooh. Okay, I need a seat. <laughs> hey. I'm still here. I'm just resting. <laughs> Oh. Trying to get rid of the cramp in my neck. I just need this little extra break. I'm about to get back up into it. Okay. Uh, the, I think the cramp finally, like, decided to go away. Make sure it doesn't come back when I step, stand up. Nope, it's back. <laughs> mm. 
I got in 30 seconds. I think I'm going to do seven sets of 30 seconds. So tomorrow, um, that's usually the plan is to recover, or I do what is called active recovery, where I will be out here doing something, but it'll be like super light, you know. <sighs> Like usually on my rest days, that's when I focus on like maybe the muscles that I didn't really hit quite as much on any other day. It might just be a dance class, you know, something fun, light. I'm trying to be active every day. Just letting my heart rate come all the way back down. And then we'll do the next one. I think that was set number three. Oops, well, China, check. Can't roll me. I work my nine to five, better cut my check. This goes out to all the ladies living in on your prime. I love respect, I do please accept my sign. For you love it, how we started enough to make these millions stronger enough to raise the children and get back to business. Oh, come here, baby. Hope you still like me. Mm -hmm. All right, next set. So we're on set number four. I do think I need a timer. So this is like a 17 minute workout basically. I think I'm round number four. Yep.
There's a giant hornet swarming. That was right on time. Oh, wait. Oh. The burn. It's real. Ooh. I really hope my mosquito repellent is still holding up. <laughs> Not gonna come in here and eat off of me, buddy. And I always feel so violated when a mosquito bites me or sucks me. <laughs> So rude. Okay, let's go get set up for the next set. No, come on. I lost the momentum. It's too much sense. Goodness gracious. <laughs> These breaks feel so good, you know what I'm I'm trying to capitalize on my little one and a half minute break. Come on, heart rate, go down. <sighs> Oh no 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 no! I messed up my work my break. Shoot, that's okay because I needed a little bit more time. Honestly, oh, I can think in the rope and on my own. If I can sing, charge with all my foes. If I'm crazy, it's on my own. If I'm heard, it's on my phone. If I sound crazy, it's just know my tone. I'm gonna answer when you call my phone. Like, what's up, danger? What's up, danger? What is that on the ground? You're dang. 
Don't be a stranger. What's up, danger? My jam. It's one of the first uh, Into the Spider Verse movie. <laughs> Ooh. 200 miles per hour with a blindfold on. Mama always asking, where did I go wrong? What's up, danger? What's up, danger? Travel 200 miles, I'm knocking at your door. And I don't really care what you ain't done wrong. Come on, what's up, danger? Don't be a stranger. I like it when trouble brews. I don't change, change. I like it when the turbulence on my airplanes. Yeah, Omar said. Holy, 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 oh my. Ooh, super massive black hole by Muse. I love this song. It's like so sexy. Ah! <laughs> Drop my water bottle. We were almost done with our first 64 ounces of water. Look at that. <sighs> I like to say we because I want you guys to join in with me on this journey. You know, share your own journey. Let's do this together. All right. Where's my sister? Okay, where'd the rope go? <laughs> Try to get all fancy with it. The calves are burning. Oh, boy. I hope that's it. I think. Or do I have another one? Oh gosh. Wait. I think I have one more. Done. <laughs> 
When will the torture be over? <sighs> oh my goodness, guys. The burn is real. I gotta take this in and wash it. I wash it every after every workout because gotta keep the skin nice and clean and fresh. Keep my face breakout free, you know? <laughs> I think I'm gonna take an extra 30 seconds because yeah, I need it guys. Heart rate is still pretty high. I only got it to like 130, so I'm ready to do the next exercise. The next set. Doesn't, next and last set. This is so much more fun than typical cardio, you know? Hmm. We have 50 more seconds. Hey, if you guys are new to the stream, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Sub to the channel. If you're on Kick, go ahead and get follow the channel, you know? I want to meet new people, get to know you guys. Subscribe on YouTube. <sighs> follow along on this journey. I want you guys to be able to see the change over time and be like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. We're done. Okay. 
We are done. Let me go ahead and close this, uh, close the garage door. All right, guys. Ooh. What time is it? 11.41? Gives me enough time. Go and take a shower. Whip up a, whip up a protein shake. And then get on stream with some Guild Wars 2. I've been chomping at the best to play some Guild Wars 2 for like a week. So yeah, I will see you guys later. My feet and my ankles? I'm not my ankles. My feet and my my calves are burning right now. The stream will be over on Twitch. Um, I don't know if people want to watch Guild Wars 2 on Kick or not. I don't know. I might, I might stream here. I'm not sure. We'll see. <sighs> okay. Off I go, guys. The camera's going to go black. See you guys later. <laughs>